Yo, 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 Ziggy here, bringing Mario for 3 TDM all on the map lockdown. And this gameplay was pretty good. Uh, pretty much the best part of the game, though, was the ending. You got a nice game winning kill. I'll show you here in a minute. And of course, I'm playing with the awesome, the Gervin and Smiley. Both of them are great players. And playing with them, I was playing on a European connection, so if you see that the uh, replay looks kind of wacky on theater mode, it's because I was on one and two bars the whole game. So I was a little bit behind. So as you can tell, also right off the bat, there were some people like dying right there that I didn't even, when I was playing, I didn't even know that was happening. So it was uh, definitely, though, works on your reaction time a little bit and, you know, making sure you aim well, stuff like that. So I didn't mind playing on two bars. I didn't think I did two bars, two bars, too bad playing on two bars. So it was all right. And I had a lot of fun playing with the Gervin. And I'm not going to talk too much about the game, though. I'm going to go ahead and bring you some information that's come out recently. Uh, there has been a confirmation date for the new map pack for Xbox Live, of course, since it comes out first. It is called Overwatch, as much as you probably already know. It drops on February 21st, so it's pretty much on Mardi Gras, which I'll be in out of town, by the way. But, um, it's only going to be one map, so right off the bat, eesh, you know what I mean? I mean, we're playing all this money, and they've already released the calendar also, so we know now what's going to come out. And when it's going to come out, well, not necessarily the dates that it's going to come out, but what, you know, what to expect. Some of the things they left for the mine to be open, I guess, as you will, is May, June, and August, they have something called Classified. So it's usually, the breakdown is map, special ops missions, and then Classified. So Classified, I'm assuming, is either going to be a flex that could be either or, or they're going to add stuff to the single player, I believe, uh, whenever we were reviewing the video the first time they came out with the season of content they were talking about stuff like that so I'm assuming that this was, that's what it's going to be of course I can always be wrong but one thing I was not wrong about is that the PlayStation 3 Elite payers did get screwed and they're getting screwed over again because at the same time that they're releasing this map Overwatch is going to come out the 21st they announced that PlayStation 3 Elite users finally going to get Liberation and Piazza on February 28th so in other words Xbox is going to get two exclusive drops before PlayStation 3 users even get the first one. And I, I just think it's completely wrong. I know they had this uh, quote-unquote you know, deal with Activision and Microsoft, which is fine and dandy, but I mean, it should not be that long of an exclusivity to where if it's a month that they get these map packs before PlayStation, then why is it that the third one, or I'm sorry, the second one, third map, gets way in before PlayStation 3 users, you know what I mean? So. Uh, it's just completely ridiculous and then on top of that the regular users that don't even need elite you know get to purchase these map packs i think there's like a bundle here soon probably in march you know it's, i would guess around the 15th of march middle of march maybe even the beginning of march so the playstation 3 elite users that paid this much money to be quote unquote you know get these maps pretty much first before anybody that's not elite it's only going to get probably one to two weeks exclusively over a regular Xbox user so very wrong in my opinion how they handled this situation they could have at least been honest and upfront about it I personally would have loved to have known you know upfront hey you're paying for elite service this is what you can expect though however you know we still have this exclusively with uh, Microsoft of course they weren't going to tell us that why would they they wanted to get that money right at the front you know so nothing we can do about it at this point now now the season of content calendar here we go so february like we discussed overwatch i have a picture hopefully been flashing of overwatch it's pretty much a construction site on top of new york skyscrapers what they have in the description so pretty much it's like high rise i've come to understanding of these maps that they're pretty much just drawing ideas from you know past maps probably one thing that we could maybe look forward to on classified is hopefully they do bring back some of the classic maps i know a lot of people love some of the older maps so who knows but definitely looks like high rise you can fall off of it i'm pretty sure there's going to be a way to get on top of it it's just pretty much it's almost built the same if you look at the picture it kind of has that look so i expect the map to be playing okay a fast paced game definitely don't expect the video saying everybody should camp on this one <laughs> so it looks like it should be a fun map of course it's only one map though march we get one map again for you know, multiplayer but we get two special ops missions so for those fans that are or big people are fans of the special ops you know they're good finally gonna bring some maps in there april 
two multiplayer maps. May, a map, a mission, classified. And again, I'm not sure what classified is. Hopefully it's either an old map or it's probably going to be mission for single player. Uh, June, map, mission, classified. July, another two maps. August, map, mission, classified. And September is when it ends, map, mission. So in the end, we're going to have, what's that? So if you count Liberation and Piazza. So Overwatch, that's three, four, six. Twelve, 12 multiplayer maps in the end. Which if you think about the content that came out on Black Ops, it's about even. And so in the end, with all the missions and things like that, they will probably bring out 20 maps. If you add the zombies, things like that, to all the map packs that they had in Black Ops. It pretty much is, in the end, you know, the money you spend anyways on what you spend on Black Ops. So, in my opinion, it's not worth the 60 bucks extra. You might as well have waited. Especially if you're a PS3 user. I mean, they're not even enjoying Liberation or Piazza anyways at this point. So, why why the rush whenever only certain people have gotten an exclusive? And then, even now, paying for the map, I'm looking at it and I haven't got my money's worth because everybody's skipping it. But you see right there the game winning kill, three piece, uh, which is a predator missile. And I had a lot of fun playing this game, I had a lot of fun playing the curve. And hopefully I got all the information below and links below with the with the map packs. You know, I'm excited about this new map though, kind of, so especially since CO2 was kind of a disappointment to me. But yeah, and uh, 18 and 5 wasn't too bad of a score. Like I said, that was on two bars, but until next time, peace.